I'm Flit. We're doing a little conversation thing, trying to do this once a week, talk to some uh, area high school parents about their son or daughter's career. So uh, we thought Amber would be a good choice. Her daughter, Abby, was an outstanding athlete who just graduated from Egg Arbor Township High School. Uh, good morning, Amber. How are you? Good morning. Good. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. You, you awake yet? Oh, yes. I'm awake. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, like I said, we, we try to do this once a week here on the radio show, sort of an extension of, of what we've been doing with Glory Days Magazine in terms of the conversation. And, and just give moms a, a quick few minutes here to, to kind of brag on their son or daughter. Um, so t- tell us about Abby and her high school career and how proud you are of her. Um, well, uh, very proud of her. Uh, she played field hockey and lacrosse um, all four years in high school. Um, her junior and senior years, she really took off. Um, she was uh, her junior year second team all-cal field hockey and an honorable mention in lacrosse. Um, she was captain for both uh, field hockey and lacrosse. And then her senior year, um, she was nominated for the Old Grand Award, Old Grad Award, excuse me, and uh, at the high school. And she was um, first team all cow field hockey, and she played in both lacrosse and field hockey all star games, and um, was captain for both. And uh, for lacrosse, she was the second team all cow, um, and she also reached her 100 goals in lacrosse this year. So we were really, um, we were really excited. She. Uh, ended her senior year with uh, all the accomplishments she wanted to uh, make in both field hockey and lacrosse. And uh, so we were really excited to uh, be a part of that for the last four years and then really um, end it with a big boom in uh, her senior year. So it was great. Nice. Uh, you, you and your husband, David, what did, what did you expect out of her when her high school career started? Um, you know, was she a real good athlete coming up through grade school and middle school? Well, she, um, believe it or not, she popped around to, from a lot of sports. Um, she just really couldn't find the sport to, you know, that fit her. And then in seventh grade, uh, lacrosse and field hockey presented itself. And uh, she went to a couple, you know, different clinics and camps and uh, just really embraced both sports. And um, so her eighth grade year really started to blossom. We put her in, like I said, a little, a few more clinics and camps. And uh, she played in some pick-me-up games and then her freshman year, just we could really see that um, motivation and that drive. And uh, her, the, her freshman year, both sports had quite a few seniors. There were 15 to 17 seniors on roster. So uh, it kind of uh, gave her that push because there was going to be so many openings in the, uh, her sophomore year for varsity. And I think it was that drive that really just made her go out and practice a lot and um you know, pick up new um, different moves and, and shots and things to that nature that, um, you know, she saw in those seniors that were leaving. Um, so there, there was a nice uh, mentoring ship there, and a few seniors really took her under the wing and uh, just really kind of uh, showed her the ropes, and she just she just kind of had that drive and that motivation and that determination to uh, play on that varsity team, and, um, and she did. So I think that um, it was more about her placement and, who who mentored her and and you know her coaches too played a huge role in that. So um, I thought that uh, you know we weren't real sure what to expect, but um, you know like I said, uh, she just really took to both sports and um, really came out strong. We're talking with uh, Amber Umflit here, mom of Abby Umflit, who uh, just graduated from Egg Arbor Township High School and was an outstanding athlete there for the Eagles. Uh, Amber, talk real quick just just about the, the high school coaches you just mentioned. And uh, I think a lot of times high school coaches don't really get a lot of the credit they deserve in terms of bringing these young men and women from boys and girls into young men and women. Uh, what role did those coaches play in, in, in Abby's development, you know, to where she's to the point now where she's ready to take off on the next step of her life? Um, they played a huge part, um, especially in field hockey. She, uh, Coach Costa was her coach from freshman year. Um, which was neat because then she moved up to the varsity coach um, her junior year. So Abby had her all four years. And um, I just, I know that there was at one point um, seven spots open, um, especially for the um, the seven team that uh, plays in overtime. And uh, Abby really wanted it. And she went to her coach and said, what do I have to do to get this? And her, her coach said, this is what I need from you. And um, it, it was neat because that's exactly what Abby gave to her. Um, it was exactly what she needed to, to be part of that seven. And um, it was just, um, it was nice that that coach took the time 
to really, um, you know, critique her. And it was a hard critique. You know, Abby came home with, you know, a couple of uh, beat up bruises um, <laughs> with her ego. Yeah. <laughs> but she, um, she really took it and, um, you know, with, uh, you know, humbleness and she went out there and she gave it her all and she did exactly what her coach said. And the time and effort that the ta- that the coaches put into their students, especially at the high school level, um, with just a stipend, um, it, it just amazes me. And, and you can tell that they're really there for the love of the sport and the girls or boys, um, whichever you have. But they really put in 100% um, because they love the kids and they love the sport, not for any money that they get out of it. And I think that, that what, that's what speaks volumes to my husband and I um, and what the uh, coaches did. And Coach Williams was a new varsity coach this year, and uh, he just really um, recognized Abigail's strengths and um, really saw her potential and pulled her aside early on and said, look, this is what I think you can do for the team, and this is what I, I want you to do for the team. And it was um, it was great in that way because it wasn't um, like any other coach she had had. Um, you know, usually the coach just says, give me all you have, and he said, this is what I know you have, this is what I need you to give me. So it was um, a different um, kind of spin on coaching this year, and uh, and she really embraced it, and she came out and did exactly that. She uh, gave him what he needed to um, needed from her, so I thought that was kind of neat. What, what's the coolest thing as a parent about watching your high school son or daughter grow and develop? I mean, they come in as 14-year-old freshmen, and they're kind of – you know, a little bit scared of high school and unsure of themselves. And, and here they are four years later, they've matured into team leaders and, and, you know, not only in the, in their sport they play, but also in the school and, and you see that development. What's that like? You know, it seems like a long time, four years, but really it goes by in a blink of an eye. It does. Um, you know, for my husband and I, we, you know, we're very athletic. So, you know, of course, you know, we want athletic children. And I think from watching her from freshman to senior year, I think, the, the one um, aspect of her um, athletic career was her determination and um, her leadership as well, but her determination in, you know, wanting to master different things. Um, like in field hockey, she saw a reverse chip and, she, you know, at a young age, and she said, I'm going to learn how to do that. And she went in the backyard and literally, you know, just beat up my husband's backyard. Um, <laughs> and he wasn't very thrilled with the landscaping afterwards. But it, it was just really neat to watch. And so when she's on that field, that adrenaline from a parent's um, point of view, it's just, uh, it, it's it's nothing that you can even describe. Um, it, it's just very surreal and, and you know, when you're screaming, you really don't really realize how loud you're screaming. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so it's really neat, especially when the coaches and the other team says, you know, oh, we heard 2-4 and umflit the whole entire game. And, <laughs> you know, it, it's just really neat, um, you know, that, that she knows that you're out there supporting her. And and, and it's, it's funny, too, because at the end of the career, you don't want it to stop. So at her senior year, we were, like, on pins and needles waiting to – you know, here if she was going to play for college, if she wasn't. And she had a few colleges that really wanted her to play and for her and for both field hockey and lacrosse. So it's that anticipation as parents, too. Will they pursue it? Will they not? Mm-hmm. You know, is this the end? So it, it was really, um, you know, nail biting for um, her dad and I to see, you know, what step she was going to take. So fortunately, she is going to play uh, lacrosse in, at Stockton University. So oh, nice. we're really excited for that. She's on the roster there. Um, we're waiting for an, another great coach to come along and, um, you know, and uh, do what they what the last uh, two coaches did for her. And uh, so we're really excited about that. But it, um, it it's whether they play in college or not, it, it's just an, an amazing experience for the four years that they get to play in um, high school. We're talking with uh, Amber Umflett, who's the mom of Abby Umflett, uh, Egg Harbor Township recent grad who was a, a standout in field hockey and girls lacrosse. Uh, before we let you go, Amber, uh, real quick, just for, for moms maybe who have a kid coming into high school this year and are getting ready to start that journey, uh, what was that like for you as a parent? You know, you get to be friends with all these other parents and really increase your social circle. And it, it, it seems to me like just from talking to parents throughout the years that it, it's such a neat experience for the parents as well as the student-athletes. It really is. You, um, 
it's a it's a mindset almost. Um, you know, you're surrounding yourself with uh, parents of the same mindset. So their children, you know, are uh, driven. They're determined. They're um, geared for a goal. And it's it's nice, you know, to be sitting in a stance with a bunch of uh, parents that are just as excited about their children and um, and end up being as excited for your children um, at the end of the um, four years. So. You know, we're all cheering for each other. It's it's a great um, it's a great group, and um, it's it's just a great feeling to know that you know you have a bunch of girls um, out there that um, you know you've watched since, in my case, seventh grade. So mm-hmm. Abby's played with the same field hockey and lacrosse girls since sixth and seventh grade. So coming up through, it's just um, it, it's not even a reuniting. It's it's just a great little. Uh, a feeling and um, great support um, going in and, uh, you know, a lot of anticipation and anxiety, of course, from <laughs> any freshman standpoint. But uh, it, it's nice to, you know, mingle with uh, the other parents and uh, and go out and support each other. So it's, it's a really neat feeling. Awesome. Uh, thanks for joining us, Amber. We appreciate you taking some time. Enjoy the weekend and oh, the rest absolutely. of the summer, and, and good luck to Abby going forward. Oh, thank you very much, and thanks for having me. We really appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. All right, take care. Bye-bye. That was uh, Amber Umflett, mom of Abby Umflett over there at Egg Harbor Township High School. She's getting ready to start her career at Stockton University this